Hey, Tweety! What? Boy, I had no luck at all at the show this weekend. Then nobody took me. Got some people looking at me, so don't worry about it. Earl sold more of those rut runners this week. We're still here. We should be gone by now. Hey, I'm still here. The only problem I got with is that silly dog over there that keeps on doing the no-nos on the lawn. Hey, a dog's got to go when it's got to go. Yeah, one thing they didn't want on their lawn. What's that? I'll tell you what's what. We're going to have Earl stand out here on the lawn and see if somebody will take him. Maybe we can make some more cutouts of him so we don't have to be a here sawed on all the time. Hi, this is Jim Muntz with Jet Jimmy Productions. I was down in Sebastian last weekend to an art festival and came across a real interesting individual by the name of Earl Fredericks. He manufactures and sells lawn art, which is really quite interesting. And I asked Earl if I could come back and kind of shoot his facilities and see how he does it. So anyway, I'm going to take you on tour and uh, introduce you to Earl. Here's Earl. This is the first stage we're going to go to. Well, I draw up a pattern off the pattern onto the board, and then I cut it out with a saw, and then I clean it with. Uh, I'm drawing a flamingo off of this pattern here, and I cut it out with a saw, and then I clean it. When you say you clean it, what does that mean, Earl? I take a drill and have a. Uh, those are now okay. These are the tools you use to clean the board, Earl. Yes, and I use this one with a drill, and it takes off the fiber around the the bird. Is this after the cutout? After the cutout. Oh. Now this is cut out, and I take it back and use my cleaners and clean this whole wood up, smooth it out, and then I paint it. Okay, this is a blue bird. I've cut out and I have cleaned it and I'm ready to put the dowel in it. Once the dowel is in there, then I paint the whole thing blue. And then I come down once it dries and I use a paintbrush to put these in. And then I take the screwdriver and put the wings on. Okay, this is vinyl siding with wood and I put it on like this with this screw and then this flies with the wind and then this is a final product once it's all done. Say like a like one of these, or what do you get for uh, one of the dogs like this? No, that no, fourteen, fourteen dollars. Yeah. Okay, and what about these? Sixteen, sixteen. This is the uh, propelling. Uh, Everything else runner. is sixteen except him. There's, there's uh, eighteen for the road runner. Road runner, eighteen, eighteen bucks. Okay, well, that's a lot of a lot of work for eighteen dollars. Twenty-five. There's actually three, and there's a the little one right down there. Just. Just nine, twelve. Just born this year. Over at the show, you had stated that you'd been in this for seven years. Yes, my wife Jean passed away seven years ago. I have a good friend named Joe Brown, and he told me that I should have something to do to occupy my time. And he asked me why I didn't get into the woodworking business. So that's what happened. And this must be Joe Brown. This is Joe Brown, my friend. And this is his fault that you got into this and That's you have correct. to work 20 hours a day and you're supposed to be retired. That's correct. You got anything comments to say there, Joe? Yeah, well, he was bothering me continually. I had to get him to start in something. I want to take this opportunity to tell Earl thank you very much for allowing us to come over and shoot all his facilities and how he builds his stuff. Uh, he's a great craftsman and a great guy, and I want to wish him a lot of luck in the future. Thanks for watching.